What do you have for a power supply on there? Uh, lithium iron phosphate. Oh yeah, nice. Uh, 10 amp hour. I'm still running 12, 12 volt. To your question, no, nobody here is okay. <laughs> it's about 85 degrees in this building right now. Yep, yep, well, because it's my design, that's why. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's it's Core XY. Everyone's got these really nice metal, super fast spinners or whatever. Um, this one yeah. works pretty good. all of all the good printers here. <laughs> yes. When it works, it works. Yeah, it's working right now. This is printing a glass-filled ASA um, that was provided by a friend just over the corner there. And uh, we're just uh, getting the first couple prints in. Because it is uh, insanely fast. Right. Pretty much, yeah. Or you set it on something strong like the cement floor. Right. These models are, they, they're fully color 3D printed. Oh, wow. So they came out that way when they came out the printer. As opposed to just zero enough. Okay. 
still spinning. You didn't fall and it didn't have blood. Right? Keyboards, hands. Yeah. Models designed at Green Great 3D Studios. And he was he was like, I wanted to hire him. So I said, I wanna hire you, here's what we're gonna do. Have a seat in 90 minutes. Show me something that you're creating from scratch. He did about 80% of this. And I said, you're hired, put on that. He's just filming. Yeah, man. <laughs> All these filaments. The upside. So it's a closed loop stepper or what? It's a it's extruder, or oh, okay. EY extruder. It's a semi hot end. Also, we plan to use a Bontex CHP nozzle. Yeah. Yeah. Also okay. build in a filament sensor board. It's pretty light. That's crazy, huh? Yeah. Have you watched this before? No, I've actually seen where they put the machine upside down and play. I've never seen where they build the machine upside down. Right. Checking out all the cool stuff on display here. Yeah, I'm trying. I didn't realize you were a guitarist. This is log. This is my original wood frame Mark II clone.
Okay. That is a that is that is hilarious. That's a Pandora. Yep. How long have you had this dual filament set up running? Unfortunately, I haven't had it running a whole lot. Yeah. Probably the coolest thing I've got up. Oh wow! Yeah, that's crazy. Pretty active. Pretty ABS. Do you have like a purge block or purge? Okay. We got um, little nozzle wipers in it. The nozzle part, part's on that. So if you don't lose any dripping, we don't lose the pressure inside the nozzle. So we can ah, okay. pick it up. Nice. We get a little bit of stringing with it without the first block, but. Looks good, man. Awesome, thank you. Have you had any like reliability or broken parts on them issues? Or? Uh, this good. one, no. And then that one's just a random uh, mini that one of the guys I know, he's like, hey, I'll sell it to you for cheap. Oh, nice. I was like, okay. How cheap are we talking? Two twenty-five. That's not bad. No, it's That's already got the Montec extruder on it. Oh yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Are you with uh, West Three D? It's all good, I'm working around you. <laughs> this is amazing. You know, I've just like, uh, for example, I said people, the other guys here are pros right now. So right now, uh, you guys want to say, how much of its actual user, like, how, how easy is it for me to get something this quality? Based off the image you saw it. Um, yeah. So, uh, just for example, this is the very first thing that I did myself. Again, not a pro. Um, so the little eventually start working with other pro it's like are you start to get the end of the end of the end of the end of the end Some people call it like cross <laughs> It does. What? And so we can 
get great resolution for detecting exactly how far the muscle needs to be to the bed. You can get a nice uh, mesh. So you can get really high resolution. In fact, you can actually see the texture on the bed in the field. Right Currently, will be 2804s cross country, so yeah, works just like a K3 on that. 4040 uh, extrusions for everything. This thing's like way denser than, like, the tool head is like much denser than what you typically find on a 3D printer. So, like, uh, it's cut cooling, plates. yeah, but mostly hollow space and mostly hollow tubes. So it's actually a quite pretty light right. tool head overall. Okay, you're just using up the full envelope. Fast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, doing a bed scan, right? Like uh, that's a beacon probe. Okay. This is, I think, the first time I've seen a beacon probe in person. Yes. But it's uh, it's pretty crazy. That uses eddy currents uh, in the bed to measure the Z offset from the sensor. That's the pancake pot. I was gifted the pancake pot, and I said. I would like to make pancakes for the people at first. So I put clipper on it and the touch screen and LEDs. Of course I did. Uh, so it's a clipper powered pancake bot, yeah, basically. Yeah. To answer your question, no, nobody here is okay. <laughs> it's about 85 degrees in this building right now. It's the end of the day Saturday. I'm completely exhausted. Yeah. Um, Got to do most of it again tomorrow. Okay. Questions? I'm an intern. He's an intern. Okay. We're going to do a laser change here in a, a couple layers. And it's going to change filament. Is, is there filament supposed to be coming out right now? Yeah. He's not. <laughs> it's extruding. <laughs> I hate you. He's an